amazing deer and wildlife stories. Goodness gracious. There's no doubt who Solid Gold is now, but I want to know who are those guys with him? Those are all yearlings in there. Bull! Yes, sir. Solid Gold and his pen of yearlings. You've got to be I mean, kidding me. They're, they're out of different sires, but they're all yearlings. Holy smokes. Yes, sir. Very Can we get any closer than this? Oh, yeah. So this is the third year in a row we've actually gone over to Divine Genetics. And every time I go, I'm just amazed because within three miles of Interstate 35 are some of the biggest deer I've ever laid my eyes on. My name's Cole Wolf with Divine Genetics. We're located right outside of Belton, Texas. So I've been raising deer for nine years now. We have 23 pins and we have a little over 350 deer. So folks, there you have it. There's solid gold. He is uh, amazing. I, you know, I remember the very first time I came out here and I saw him, he was two years old. And I guess what happened, that was the time he really blossomed. I mean, he was a nice yearling, but he really came into his own about when he was two. And you knew, and I knew, and everybody in the industry knew that Solid Gold was going to be somebody. I mean, it was at that point, it's like, wait a minute, Divine Genetics, everybody go to Divine Genetics, go see the coal. And so all of a sudden, uh, at three years old, when we came back over here and looked at him, he had kind of cleaned up a little bit. I mean, he tightened up a little bit, cleaned up a little bit. I loved his look. And I know people were breeding with him and they were expecting, you know, some big things out of him. Well, here we are. He's four years old now. Yes, and take a look at him. So tell everybody what his pedigree is if they don't know. So he's Kid Rock over Express, over 727. Uh, you know, I think the, those three lineages there, I mean, have been proven for many, many years. And I think you're seeing the results right there. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, what, what is amazing, I mean, solid gold is an outstanding deer. I mean, he is one of the most spectacular deer. You look at him, I mean, he's just gotten better and better and better. So at four years old, he's got offspring on the ground, right? Yes, sir. And you've got some here? Yes, sir, we do. We're going to be able to look at any today? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So, but the, but the thing about it is, I, I think as you look at him in this pen, he, I mean, he's still giant, no question about it. But look at the other deer with him. <laughs> and, and they're all yearlings? They are, yes sir. They got a little bit of everything. I mean, they, they you know, you got some that are extremely wide. I mean, there's some, you know, you've got some high, really high. I mean, massive. Okay, yes, sir. out of all these guys, how many of them were AI babies? Uh, 90% are all AI babies. Really? Yes, sir. I mean, on this pen here, I mean, we, we try to stay, I mean, on average, you know, in the high 80%, low 80%, but each year varies. But mm -hmm. I would say this pen here is 90% AI. Okay, and naturally every one of them is in the North American Deer Registry. Everyone's DNA, yes sir. Okay, so, uh, you know, as uh, deer breeders, we're always looking at trying to predict what the best breeding is, not just the best breeding, but we're also trying to predict, I mean, we're trying to say, okay, which yearling is gonna get bigger? Okay, so we can look at these yearlings and go, like, you know, I like that one, or I like that one. What is your thought about uh, trying to predict which one, looking at them as a yearling, is going to be your best two-year-old? Well, I love to look at them at, you know, yearlings and look at the horns, but at the end of the day, I fall back on the paper. I mean, it ever, I mean, when I look at, you know, the paper, I look at what the grand dam has done, what the mother's done, what the production is, and. And yeah, I love to see big yearlings, but I never count out the small yearlings because between one and two, they can make a huge difference. You know, we, we've seen that over and over again. I mean, we have, it is amazing the difference between some deer at one, two years old. Matter of fact, we, you, sometimes we think it couldn't be the same deer. I mean, it's, it's that that uh, drastic. But, uh, you know, in looking at the, at the, at the deer, uh, you know, we talk about looking at paper, okay? And this is important. Uh, you don't have to have a really good memory to figure out the uh, the paper. I mean, Cole's, he's got all these pedigrees memorized, but you don't have to have them memorized because we have the North American Deer Registry. And you can get on and you can look at, and type in there as a, as, a, as a member of North American Deer Farmers Association, you can go and you can actually look at solid gold and you can see all of its offspring. Correct. You can see, uh, you know, who they were bred to, who was solid gold put in. And yes, you can sir. see all these offspring and you start doing your homework like that. I mean, I know guys that are on the North American Deer Registry website 
for hours a day and you are <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, we, you know that that's kind of like a little way to, to get some intel absolutely i find myself daydreaming pedigrees all yeah. the time okay so so you built solid gold he was he, he you built him and we, you built these deer that are on this farm i mean we've have built uh solid gold was definitely born and raised and built off of paper here okay and so we're going to show you deer today that uh were all built uh they were built deliberately right here at Divine Genetics. And uh, the paper we're talking about is the paper at the North American Deer Registry. So that's pretty cool. I can't believe how big and beautiful he is at four. I, I can't wait to see him next year. I know, this year he, he really has a, we love his look. All right, let's go look at somebody else. All right, everybody, we just showed you solid gold at four years old, and uh, you know he's gotta have some offspring on the ground. So this pen right here, tell everybody who's in this pen. Well, we got a bunch of yearlings in here, but uh, one solid gold yearling kind of stands out. Eighteen one ninety nine. I'll say he stands out. Now, it, it, that deer right here was born it, a year ago. Was a, it was born? He was here just as a fawn last year. So we we were here last year. Okay, we filmed solid gold. We filmed all these bucks around here, and uh, we just drove right past that little guy. I mean, oh. he. I mean, that is his first set of antlers. So Very how first. wide do you think he is? Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> he's looking good though. Yeah, he's looking good. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know how wide he is either, but for his first set of antlers, that's phenomenal. Okay, so, uh, you know, in the last pen you talk about paper. Okay, tell me the paper on him. So he's solid gold over triple crown, over express, over a girl we called walking queen, which was Hammer Down's mom. That right there is a stout pedigree. Yes, sir. Okay, and like we talk about the, the deer, when you get to the level where coal is in deer farming, uh, you breed off paper, and that's just the way it is. And the, the, the pedigrees are deep and wide. And uh, when you start looking at these pedigrees, I mean, you can go through the registry, you can actually look at the pedigrees. The more holes you can fill up with, the, with proven producers, it's the way that you produce deer like this. Now, you know, he steals the show in this in this pen right here. But there's some other outstanding deer. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, we try to build everything off of paper and, you know, there's a lot of different sires and moms in here and they all bring a, you know, different uh, type of deer. But uh, we sure, uh, we sure like these yearlings in whole, but, uh, you know, overall, we, we have a little bit of different flavor, I think, for everybody. Well, see, that's the cool thing about coming to a place like yours. I mean, you've got, if somebody likes drop tines, you got them, okay? If somebody likes uh, the nice, clean, symmetrical look, right there, there you, you go. got it, yes, sir. okay? If they like a lot of flyers and stuff, you got it right there. Yes, sir. And so, you know, you can, you, when you come out here, I mean, a lot of people wind up coming out here, you know, not just deer breeders. I mean, deer breeders, every deer breeder in the country has heard of cold wolf. Everyone has heard of divine genetics. If you haven't been here, you need to come here. But a lot of people wind up buying deer for their pasture. And these are deer that they, they release these genetics in their pasture, not to shoot, give me a break, to reproduce and to make more deer like this in the pasture. And when they do that, the property value goes up. Right. And the enjoyment goes up. When you when you sit here and you think, okay, when you go to a deer stand, would you rather see this or this? <laughs> I know I'd rather see this. Yeah, and it's right. for that reason that if you've got a piece of property and you'd like to look at some beautiful deer and consider uh, liberating them on your place, you can only do that in Texas right here. That's correct. Okay, but no place like Texas. That's it. But if, if somebody wants information about coming out here and, and looking at these deer one-on-one -on -one with you, now you're not gonna have anybody else show them deer, are you? No, sir. You're gonna come with this you're guy right here. You're gonna come with me. And uh, when you come, uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna be able to tell you about every deer on the paper, who they are, and uh, but give them a telephone number so they can, uh, they can get a hold of you and then schedule a time to come. You can reach me at 254-541-4637. You have got some great deer. I mean, and it's all because you built it off the paper. Yes, sir. Well, we're sure proud of them and we appreciate it. And we, we're, you know, each year we're trying to get better and better climbing that ladder. And as I think, you know, we're, we're, we're going the right direction. Okay, so do you have a name for him yet? 
We haven't named him yet, but we probably will name him here pretty soon. Okay, so as you're watching this show, we don't have a name right now as we're filming it, but this show will air in 2020, and we'll have the name of that deer on the screen. You're gonna have to tell us, and also we're gonna put on the screen what that deer scores. Can you tell us that? We will. Okay, that'll be cool. All right, well that's pretty good. That's proven production out of solid gold right there. Yes, sir. All right, let's go see somebody else. All right. Awesome. Okay, so that has to be Justify. That's Justify. And he's two now. He's two. Folks, we wound up last year when we were here, he was one year old. And uh, we got video of him and at one year old, we knew Justify, well, he was an unbelievable one year old. But now take a look at him. I mean, he looks like, he looks exactly the same to me, except supersized. He's bigger and... Better. I mean, better. he's bigger and better. That's all there is to it. I mean, when, you know, what did he score last year? Uh, honestly, I never scored him. Really? But he, it don't uh, matter. It doesn't matter. He uh, he has the look and he has the paper. And he was born here. He was born and raised here. Okay, who lined up the breeding on him? Well, we purchased his mama from a breeder, and then and then we bred her and uh, to Triple Crown, and she made Justify. So who made who, who lined up the breeding? See, he's not going to tell you he did it. Okay, I'm trying to get him to say something that he did, but he won't do that. But he did that. He did all this, okay? And so, you know, he's kind of quiet. He's extremely modest, but he's got some really big deer because of him. Okay, what's up in that noggin right there? Because I'm telling you, that deer is unreal. I mean, Justify is his name. And all these are two-year-olds? These are all two-year-olds. Okay, so what I want to know is who that one guy is over there. So that's Overdrive. He's a big two-year-old, uh, really loved the open frame, the long tines, and his paper is, it's all there. Well, the deal about it is, is, you know, I like nice, clean deer with a few extras, but he's, he, I mean, he's got more than a few extras, but I like him a lot. He's got a good look. Okay, so um, all these deer in this pen were born in here? They were all born here. Okay, all right, and how many of these were AI? 85%. Okay, so as we look at all these and the deer around Divine Genetics, you, you, you're going to hear me ask that question, how many of them were AI? The reason why the AI, you can take a deer that maybe not, maybe he isn't on your farm and you can AI with him and get offspring out of them. You can take deer that have been dead for 10 years and AI with them. I mean, the semen is good for a long, long, long time. And so when we talk about AI success in the paper, Okay, it all goes back to the paper and lining up pedigrees and obtaining the semen from those special bucks to put in the special does. But you know, we're looking at these bucks, okay, and you got some phenomenal bucks. You got their sisters though, don't you? We do. And their sisters, uh, okay, it, when you start talking about breeding, okay, how much emphasis do you put on the doe versus the buck? Now listen up folks, because this is important. <laughs> the does, I mean, I feel carry 70%, if not more, you know, the production of producing those big bucks. Okay, that then that, that's massive, that is huge. And so when you start figuring that, and you know, you may say, well then why don't we just show you does? Why don't we show you, nobody wants to look at the does. <laughs> we all want to look at the bucks. But the bucks are the bucks because the does are super does. Absolutely. And if you want to, give them a website. So you can reach me at, uh, you know, www.divinegenetics.com or you can reach me at 254 Five four one four six three seven. Okay, and uh, I gotta ask you this: uh, Is every deer in the place for sale? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you hate it when I do that, don't you? I mean, we sell deer, and we, that's our, you know, that's our business. So, I mean, come out and let's take a look at them, and see if we can't make something happen. And you know what? If you want to get involved in a deer, they do partnerships too. Yes, sir, we do. That's cool. All right, so see, justify overdrive and uh, we're fixing to show you some other big old deer right here at Divine Genetics. Let's go check them out. I'm just wondering, I need your help on this. Now these are marshmallows, okay? This little guy likes marshmallows. Now I want you to take a good close look at this guy. That's his first set of horns. He was born in 2017. But the special thing about this little buck right here is the fact he was bottle raised. And the reason why he's bottle raised is because he was born on opening day of deer season. Figure that out. And that's the reason why he's so gentle. Anyway, take a look at him. He's got a beautiful set of antlers for being a first set of antlers. 
I'm real happy with him, but I'm just wondering, I need your help on this. Would you call this a yearling? Or would you call it a two-year-old? Because it's 2019 right now. You are a sweet little deer. Just another day on the farm. Cole's got so many big deer that, I mean, it's amazing. Seriously, when you sit there and you take a look across his pens, you're thinking almost any other breeder would pick that one as a breeder, and that one as a breeder, and that one as a breeder, but not Cole Wolf. Cole Wolf says, eh, they're not big enough. They don't have the right paper. I mean, Cole is a perfectionist. He wants the best deer he has to be on the market is breeders. It's for that reason, all these other deer that are not breeders, you know what he does with them? He sells them as stalkers. What that is, we call them pasture deer. These deer are gonna be sent off to other ranches and they're gonna use those genetics to improve the value of their land and improve the quality of their deer herd. A deer we wound up seeing last year at Divine Genetics was a buck by the name of Outcast. He was an outstanding two-year-old. But now take a look at him at three. Okay, so uh, who are we looking at in here? Well, we're looking at Outcast in here. That's the, gotta be the three-year-old over there. That's him. Because we filled him last year at two. Yes, and sir. boy, look, he's still done it this year. Yes, sir, he's, uh, he's came on strong and I love the breeding on him. I mean, he's a danger son over Express, over Heather. So gives a get, great outcross and we couldn't be more proud of him. The pins at Divine Genetics are bigger than most people's deer pins, okay? Most people have smaller pins, but not Cole Wolf. Cole's pins are big and they need to be big because he's got a lot of big bucks in them. So why do you have him in here with one-year-olds? Well, we moved him in here uh, last year, Keeper Ranch partnered on, a, on this buck with us and then mm -hmm. we drew semen on him, sold semen, and then when we went to move bucks around, we put him in these, here with these yearlings so that he'd be, the, he'd be the king of the hill. There's a lot of partnership on deer that we have here. People come in, they're interested in a buck and we'll sell 50% or 25% of that buck to other farms. Uh, sometimes we move that deer and still retain, you know, partnership in it. Sometimes that deer stays here. And it doesn't always just be a buck, it's sometimes a does too. So it's, uh, you know, a lot of breeders like that and we like it too. Well, he's the king of the hill, but these other ones are yearlings. They're all yearlings. Well, there's some beautiful, beautiful yearlings. Okay. Uh, 18132, is that, is that, am I reading it right? That's him. That's, he's beautiful. What, who is that? That's Outsider. He's a, he's a great yearling. Uh, he's an express over Triple Crown, over Hardcore Sister. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pedigree is, uh, I mean, it's one that of a paper's kind. paper's strong. It's very it's strong. strong. Okay, now, if you want to come out here to Divine Genetics, Central Texas, just outside of Belton, uh, and see some magnificent deer. And you'll get a one-on-one -on -one pen tour with Cole Wolf. Go ahead and give him a telephone number. You can reach me at 254-541-4637. And if you love looking at big deer, you're gonna love coming to Divine Genetics. Hey everybody, I'd like to thank you for watching the show. My name is Keith Warren. If you've got any questions or comments and you're watching online, go ahead and post them below and we'll see you next week right here on Deer and Wildlife Stories. We gotta go to college rolling. station tonight. Okay, we got ready. And clap. Action! <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> <laughs>